there's abundance for you. God's plan is abundant provision for his children. Let's now get back to the new, to the KJV, Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 10 to 11. Look at what God originally planned for his chosen people, which still applies to you now. And shall be, when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities, which thou buildest not. So you can get cities free. Let's get to verse 11. And houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not, and wells digged, which thou diggest not. So free water for you, free house for you, house loaded and filled to the brim for you. Then say, which thou diggest not, vineyard and olive trees, which thou plantest not. So free jobs, when thou shalt have eaten and be full. So God is concerned about you eating and being full. Not just one square meal per day, eating and being full. This is God's economy concerning your life. He says, houses full of all good things, which thou fillest not. This was God's plan for his chosen people, which still applies to you today. Now let's get to St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 6, verse 11. Are you there? Give us this day our daily bread. That was how Jesus taught them to pray. So there's daily provision for you, daily supply for you, by God's Spirit. Then Psalm 68, verse 19. That will just buttress this point. Give us this day, you know. Let's look at verse 19. Let's do this together. One to go. Blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. So every day, this is the God we are connected to. You know, don't be conscious of inflation and economy and unemployment all around, you know. You have your own heavenly economy which God has ordained for you. Let's see an account from the Old Testament how that those guys got to a point whereby they didn't have food to eat at all. God rained quails from heaven. Let's see the account of manna, first of all, you know. That's Numbers chapter 11, verse 7 to 9. Numbers 11 from verse 7. They wanted so much food in the wilderness. God provided them food in the wilderness. No scarcity with God. So no scarcity with you at all. For you, no scarcity of food. No scarcity of idea. No scarcity of opportunity for you. Because you're operating in God's economy for your life. And the manna was a, as coriander seed. And the color thereof was the color of Belgium. And the people went about and gathered it and ground it in the mills, or beat it in mortar, and baked it in pans, and made cakes of it, and the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon it, the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. No. So every night there was supply, there was provision, and God warned them, don't keep the one for today for tomorrow. Now some of them had the mentality of lack. You want to gather manna to hide it, the gold that have become worms. God says, my hands are not short. I give you daily provision. So in God's economy, there's daily provision for you. Recognize there are daily benefits for you. If there are some you are missing, you can call them forth. That becomes your responsibility. Use your tongue to call forth the benefits you have been missing. And wherever they are, they will join it towards you. Let's say another account here. Um, the book of Psalm, chapter 105, verse 40. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. So he gave them bread from above. Yes, when they were tired of the manna, they wanted more. God then gave them quail, flesh. The quail landed so much, there were so many of them, they, were, they had to sit on one another just all over. There was more than enough, because that's God's provision for your life. More than enough daily provision. Praise God. If you're not seeing some, you can call forth your provision now from where you are. I'm sure we round up this service like that. Hallelujah. Let's another account from here. St. Matthew's Gospel 14 from verse 15. Jesus manifested this also. Manifested heavenly economy when he was on earth. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give it them to eat. As far as Jesus was concerned, there's more than enough here. Wherever you are, your abundance is where you are. Amen. It's not far from where you are, just right there. It will join it to you right there. And they said unto him, we have here but five loaves and two fishes. That's more than enough. And he said, bring them either to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and to the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and break it and gave the loaves to his disciples and disciples to the multitude. 
and they did eat and were filled. Filled. Like he said in Deuteronomy chapter 6, when you are eating and you are full. So God is concerned about you eating and being full and having more than enough for somebody else. When they were filled and they took up the fragments that remained, 12 baskets full. So there was more than enough even after eating. God's plan is not just for you to have three square meals per day, but to have more than enough for somebody else. Like Brother Agri was telling us, he said, on his job, he made so much money, he sold back, he reaped again, he gave again now. He first gave for 300 copies, 500 copies, 1,000 copies, now he's going for 10,000 copies. The reason for your fullness is for the kingdom to expand. Always remember that. Praise the Lord. Have the mentality of heavenly economy. Numbers 20, verse 8. Shall we turn there? Numbers chapter 20. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's more than enough for you all the time. That's your mentality. God spoke to Moses, take the rod and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and shall bring forth his water. In other words, there's water inside the rock for you. God said to bring his water. Speak to the rock and before the eyes, and it shall give his water, and that shall bring forth to them water out of the rock. So you can actually underline that water out of the rock for me. Personalize it. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beast drink water out of the rock for you. Call your name. I have water out of the rock. I'm the one that can bring forth water out of the rock. No matter how tough that assignment is, there's water inside. So for God that commanded light to shine out of darkness, God has designed that inside darkness there's light. So stop complaining. Produce light out of your darkness. That's your responsibility in Christ Jesus. Let's see maybe two more accounts today. All right. Um, St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 24. Are you there? And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter and said, Does not your master pay tribute? And he said, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon, of whom did the kings of the earth take custom or tribute, of their children or of strangers? Peter said of strangers, Jesus said unto him, Then are the children free. Notwithstanding, lest we, should offend, lest we should offend them, go down to the sea and cast an hook and take up the fish that first comes up. And when thou art opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money that take and give unto them the gold that made them pay the bills and the loan of Brother Agri is still alive up to now. He's not dead. Praise the Lord. Just think you are functioning in God's economy. There's more than enough for you by the power of God's spirit. And give unto them for free. And thee, there are times, understand something you can never lack. Working with God. Because you're operating an economy that's not of this world. It's from above. That's God's plan with you. Lastly, Ecclesiastes chapter 11. You must see this today. Ecclesiastes chapter 11. Men ate angels' food. That's the manner God brought from above. God spoke to Elijah, brought food to him from an angel. Understand something. Hope is not lost with you. Your faith is working and producing mighty results. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, you know. Exercise chapter 11, verse 5. As thou knowest not what is the way of the Spirit, nor how bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so thou knowest not the work of God. Look at it this way. How do bones form in the womb of somebody that is with child? Only God knows. If that is the miracle on his own, the claims Anne, how does bone form when you give birth to um, wells? How did the bones form? He has bones, right? Who formed the bones in your stomach? That's God's work. If that can happen as a normal law of life, God is also saying that his economy is a normal law with you. Yes. Supernatural supply, supernatural provision is normal with your life. Yes. All you have to do today, even now, Go ahead, you know, use your tongue and call forth your benefits, your supernatural provision. Give us this day our daily bread. There's daily bread for you, daily supply for you, daily contact for you, daily contract for you, daily opportunities for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Daily provision. If you could give them manna in the Old Testament and give them quail, he has much more for you. That's God's plan for your life. Houses you didn't build, you know, that's what it says. Plants you did not plant, 
is coming your way by free course. God doesn't want your life with stress, not with so much labor and effort. He said with your tongue right now in the New Testament, you can call forth anything into your life. So go forth and do that now by the power of God's spirit. You are functioning in God's economy. There's more than enough for you, more than enough supply for your life. It's coming your way by free course in the mighty name of Jesus now. You can label it when you want it. It is this week, starting from today, by the power of God's Spirit, in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you will say to yourself, I function with heavenly economy in the mighty name of Jesus. I have supernatural supply. I have supernatural provision in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I function with heavenly economy and I call forth my daily supply, my daily provision by God's Spirit in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I receive miracle jobs, miracle opportunities, miracle ideas, miracle contracts, miracle jobs by the power of God's Spirit. I refuse to lack. I am loaded. I'm abundantly supplied in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Kabo Shoro Pandaha. Ye Kobo Shoro Pagro Monde. You call Bosoto, Popo Soria, Yanto, Brodo, Kushere, Bosoto, Rimando, E Gaba, Bako, Soto, Hinda, E Cabo, Soto, Himo, Hoya, E Cabo, Scotto, Brodi, Gishkara, Mande, Bobo, Shete, Yagaba, Shato, Yo, Popo, Seterina, Yago, Bosoto, E Boro, Boso, E Boro, Bosukara, Panda, Yago, Brodo, E Boro, Boshikara, Pa. He barabasikara po, oromo shatari, ya gobo shoto limo, oromo sukara pole, he gobo soto polimanda, ya gobo shoto lim, yorobo sukara panda, ya gobo sota lima, orojuka shata haya, ye gobo soto lim, o baramasata haya, kolido soto linda. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Tell your neighbor, look at me. I function with heavenly economy. In the mighty name of Jesus, announce right now, I'm making progress, I'm making advancement. In the mighty name of Jesus, no lack for me. Abundant provision alone. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm stepping into a week of abundant supply, abundant provision. In the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I receive, I receive glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's your life.
Wow, it's been an awesome night. And I'm here with all those who led their prayers today and played one role or the other tonight, you know. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, looking at that scripture we saw yesterday, it was in our Rhapsody meeting that Reverend Tom showed us this scripture. That's, um, we see that from Haggai chapter 2, verse 1, from the New Living Translation that says, Then, on October 17 of that year, the Lord sent another message through the prophet Haggai. Now, today is October 17, and we have a prayer and prophecy service. But let's look at it from verse 6. For this is what the Lord of heaven's armies says, In just a little while, I will again shake the heavens and the earth, the oceans and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and the treasures of all nations will be brought to this temple. Already, already today, we've had so many testimonies. I'm just so grateful to God for yesterday's service that was prophetic. I will shake all nations, and the treasures of all nations will be brought to this temple. I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of heaven's armies. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, says the Lord of heaven's armies. The future glory of this temple will be greater than its past glory, says the Lord of heaven's armies. And in this place, I will bring peace. This is a month of peace. I, the Lord of heaven's armies, have spoken. Praise the Lord. Uh, once your mind, Jackie, you know, you led us in prayer just now. Listen to that teaching just now. Thank Praise the Lord. So Thank you so much, Pastor Sir, for this opportunity yeah. and for the opportunity to be on set. Sir, number one is that, first of all, October 17th is in the Bible, <laughs> is in Scripture. Praise yeah. the Lord. And it's so amazing how specific the Spirit of God is. Because in this season that we are in Roke 2022, so you've been teaching us about giving and receiving, sowing and reaping. So for this word to come to us today is just so amazing. And it means that... It's an ending supply. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. The supply is an ending. And that is prophetic. Praise the Lord. And that applies to you. Now we have many of our members watching us right now on website, on Cflix, all over. Praise the Lord. So God's word for you at this time is unending supply. It's not yet 12 midnight. It's still October 17. So you can actually receive yours now. Praise the Lord. And walk in the light of that which the Lord has prepared for you. So I receive that unending supply. What about you? You know? Praise the Lord. It's unending supply. That message has been in my heart since yesterday. We are functioning in God's economy. Praise the Lord. What about you, Pastor Terry? Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Sam, for this opportunity to be on the set. Um, that scripture is so prophetic. It's so exact and precise. And it just goes to tell us how God has us in mind for him to have. You know, when, that's, when that scripture, when you read that scripture in service yesterday, you know, it opened my eyes to so many things about how the love of God is, how lavishly he has graced us with his love. And... Um, you know, I, I, for me, I just want us to just take God's word the way it is, and on any supply yeah. of resources. They said the silver is mine and the, the gold, gold is mine. mine. We should just take it the way it is because that's how it is. So I'll, I'll give you a, a testimony because last week, um, after uh, Sunday night, you know, um, I we got home. And Pastor Sharon just asked me and said, Pastor Terry, you've not started remitting for rookie. When are you going to remit? I said, I will remit this weekend, before the end of this weekend. So do you know that? Two days after. You know, two days after. Two days after. I just miraculously, I, I don't know how, I didn't get an alert, you know, like my phone beeping or anything. I just decided to just go to my... Um, SMS and all that. There I saw Impesa alerts, two Impesa alerts, and whoa, I saw money inside my Impesa. He said, I, as you don't know the way bones are formed in the womb of him that's with a child. So no one knows the work of God. That is miracle money. And I decree more miracle money is coming your way today, supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus. Alerts coming your way, alarms coming your way. Some are not just alerts and alarms, they are sirens, sirens. that are coming your way today Hallelujah. by the power of God's Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, when it's alert, you rejoice. When it's alarm, you over rejoice. 
When it's Irene, you jump. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the time is not ended yet. This is just about 8 p.m. Kenya time. And God's word talks to us today. It's a wonderful day that it says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. And the time hasn't expired yet. Paul Shakes, what do you say? Thank you so much, sir. I'm so excited and grateful to be on set with you tonight. Yeah. Just listen to the, the service of yesterday, just listen to it again, brought, you know, I don't know, somehow my heart was enlarged. Hallelujah. My heart was enlarged. And um, at this time, I think for every single one of us, all we need to do is sing it, shout it, loud it, because <laughs> there's just few hours left, but in these few hours, that's just going to be wonders. Amen. Glory to God. For some of us, it's even while we're sleeping that the phones will be beeping. So we will, we'll have to be conscious of the alarm that's going to happen tonight. We'll be conscious of the siren tonight, like as the director already said. Pastor Sir, you know, um, this season is a time where even for the one that already received, you cannot say, I've already received. Because he said, in the dry and in the ocean. So for the one that's already in the ocean, there's yeah. abundance and overflow. Yeah. For the one that thinks it's all is dry, there's abundance. So everyone grass in the fields. Everyone grass. Thank you so much. So everyone sir. gets wet. Yes. So I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus, there's water coming out of the rock for you in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In those difficult places, the opportunities come in your way by the power of God's Spirit. It cannot be difficult for you. No, not when you are hearing us. There's abundant supply and abundant provision for you to activate this abundant provision and heavenly economy. You have to use your tongue. So go ahead right now. Prophesy abundant supply for yourself, abundant provision for yourself. Decree in the mighty name of Jesus, water is coming for me out of the rock by the power of God's spirit. By God's word, I bend... I ran through a troop. Any a challenge, any difficult challenge or situation, you can bend it. You can crack those bone cracking responsibilities by the power of God's Spirit. There's daily supply for you, there's daily provision for you, and you are receiving yours even now in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's time for you to rejoice. Give Him glory and praise. Magnify His holy name. Oh, Baraba Shakara Bondoromasa. I kabo soto riba ha, yo brodo ho shede ba sakala bonde, yo kobo shataria, ya kaba sata bari mande here, yo kobo shatari ba, i kobo sukala bonde. When Jesus told Peter to go to the sea and put hook and bring out coin from the mouth of the sea, how did the coin get there? That is the work of God. The coin got there by the word of the master. So right now, you can send forth your angels and they are bringing supernatural money to you in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus. This is the time. From yesterday's service to now, we have gotten so many testimonies. Yours must be a part of it. There's unending testimony in this zone by the power of God's Spirit in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So go ahead and rejoice, give him glory and praise, magnify his name. Kobaraba hashatara bonde. Ye kabo sotoria, ya gobo sotori bandori baha, e cobro de gishkabaria, ya tobo soto bali maha, e cobo sotori, ya gaba shatabari nikaha, oh ragobo soto hinda, ya gobro de koshkaba zakarabunde, oh ragaba shatabari, ye cobo sotoria, oh robo sotori pandaria, ya gaba shataha. Let us turn over to the lobo singers to give us a song before we close tonight. Give it. So we take a song from you guys. Just go ahead, worshiping the Lord. It's time to worship Him. My heart, is, my mind is just full. I'm full of matter. My tongue is a pen of the ready writer. So I declare your progress in the mighty name of Jesus. There's progress for you. There's advancement for you. There's giant leap for you in your finances. In the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the moment. This is the time. Praise the Lord. Just wave your hands and worship him. Give him glory and praise. Magnify his name. Yo kabo shoro bondara maskandaha. Yo kabo shatari. 
Ya gobo soto libro de gishkara haya. Ya bako shatari maha. Oh, bara mashatari.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's been a great and exciting night. This has been a great prayer and prophecy service. Remember on Thursday, 20th of October, that's just three days' time, we have a Mashuja Day. Praise the Lord. We have a carnival on Mashuja Day. We like all of you in Nairobi, you are coming right here. We are going out in our assigned costumes. There are costumes assigned per group. Those of you outside of Nairobi, go by the plan based on our discussion at our strategic planning meetings. That's the design for your group. Then our daily remittance for Rich Outward Kenya continues. You know, redeem your pledge on a daily basis. You can use the MPESA PB number 800701. And then Rich Outward Kenya Talent Hunt and Praise Night takes place this Sunday, 23rd of October at 4 p.m. Right here in this auditorium, we will stream to all our churches. So those of you outside Nairobi, you are not missing out anything. We will stream to you. Praise the Lord. Tonight has been a great prophetic service. There's unending testimony for you and great miracles coming your way in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and give our offerings tonight. Just give your offering based on the blessing of God at work in your life tonight. Now we take another song from our love of singers. You guys are just wonderful. Let's take another song from you. Thanks so much to my panelists. Thanks so much for joining us. God bless you. Hallelujah. So while we're taking this song, you see all the details on the screen. Then go ahead and give your offering tonight. And redeem your pledge for Richard Wakenya to start from tonight.
Glory to Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Wow, what do we say to our dear man of God? Tonight has been awesome. Thank you so much, Pastor Sir. We'll come back with glorious miracles. Glory to God. Let's pray our offerings. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for the opportunity to give our offerings, to give our tithes, to give our special seats for absolute realities. Precious Lord, we thank you. We invoke the power of multiplication into all that we've given tonight, declaring that they are multiplying for the work of the ministry in the nation of Kenya and around the world in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Lord, for everyone that has given, O oh God. It's coming back with multiplied harvest of the miraculous, coming back with beautiful testimonies. We bless your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' much less name we pray. Amen. Glory to God. And can we share the benediction together? And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the beautiful fellowship of, our, of the Holy Spirit is with us now forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Shout glory. Congratulations, everyone. It's been a beautiful night.